Hello everyone, it is all here, and today we are going to be learning how to do the withdrawal on Rookie Stealth. Because I am still learning how to do it on Legend, and I suck at it. So I'm probably going to do a collab with Rubble Roulette when me and him do it on Legend, but until then, I'm doing it on Rookie. So, last episode we learned how to do the deposit on Legend Stealth and steal Brian Ross's deposit box. Here's the point. Make sure you have two slots left in your inventory. But in this run, I did, so I was able to grab it. And now that we've stolen his deposit box, his Phoenix in information, and he is dead himself, we can now go on to a second bank. Yes, this guy has a second bank. So we can drain out the rest of his money because we've stolen a couple of thousand dollars from his deposit box and that cash bonus we saw and now all of the rest of his money is in his bank account or in the bank's vault so there's not much story given the story is quote I've given you an address out west Robert any questions no then get to work so they don't really want you to know the story but I do um, you want to rob his bank to drain out the rest of his money that he has because he's dead and he's part of Phoenix so yeah so what we're gonna take is we're gonna take my two chicken farms aka my two UP9s um, two breaching charges, heat guard scrambler and a lockpick so yeah let's get on with the mission guys Okay, here we are, the loaded screen once again. Now, you know the drill, as always, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like this video, and comment down below if you want me to change any of these names, because I have no idea what to change them to. I mean, I've yet to have a name for the raven, so if you want me to change the raven to something, or any of the other names, just comment down below. Okay guys, the mission has started. Let's go. Okay guys, here we are. Now let's grab our equipment from the bag, we need to get the lockpick and the keycard scrambler. And let's go to the other side of the building where there's a camera. This will lure a guard which you can take out for a disguise. While I'm waiting I will lockpick this door too. He should be coming. Yep, there he is. Okay, let's wait here until he comes. A few inches later. Here we go, here he is. Did he drop a key card? He did not, he just uh, dropped an upside down K5. So let's knock him out and take his disguise. Now let's bag him. Here we go. Okay, now we can go inside. Now the objective is to find and search the server room. So we're going to be trying to find the server room. Now just because um, hacking a keycard um, door is suspicious, I'm going to try and find the keycard, which I did just now. So we can replace our keycard scrambler when we're in there. But let's see if this is the server room. It is! Here we go. Now let's find and s now let's search the computer. Two thousand years later. Okay, now we need to find the blue power box, and I think I see it over there. Oh no, that's the green power box. Where is this blue power box, guys? I'm gonna go around trying to find this power box. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go around and try to find this power box. Remember in the last episode when that person did that as well? I'm not going to interrogate her. Excuse me, are you okay, sir? It looked like he was, um, she was having a seizure. It's like it's happening in every single bank that Ryan Ross has. 
Okay, so we've found the blue power box, but we've also disabled the cameras temporarily. And we found another key card, so we don't need that. So, um, yeah, let's go and rewire this power box and we'll be on our way. Wait, hang on. How is this trespassing when this guard is allowed in here? This makes no sense. Oh my gosh, guys. That was close. That was way too close for comfort. Oh gosh. Okay, guys. Let's get on with the mission. Let's go back to spawn. Grab the two reaching charges. And become our old friend. There we go guys, I am now Ryan Ross, I took his clothes. Okay, so now let's replace our keycard scrambler and lockpick for two of the breaching charges. And let's go meet the manager. Hi, we spoke on the phone earlier, I'm Ryan Ross. How can I help you today? I need to access my deposit box. Of course, follow me. Okay, you know I'm e Dizzle, I don't waste time, so I'm just gonna go in. Wait, is that the same? Guys, it. Uh, this has happened two times. This is the same here that Robert Roulette uses in his videos. I'm not gonna do this split screen again because it takes too much time for editing. But yeah. Before I open the vault, we need to do a routine search. Just a frisk for security. Well, I've got two guns. Okay, guys, so now let's make them go there. There we go. Now, open the vault. Boom. I nearly just shot her. That was way too close for comfort. Okay, bye. Bye. And bye. You all had key cards. Now, like always, the noise from the vault might lure an employee or guard. So you might want to hide the bodies as soon as possible. So when the employee comes in, if they do, then you can fish. they cannot get suspicious with all of the lying bodies all around. You know what I would like to do? I would like to um, take the manager's disguise. That that would be sick. Just pick up these key cards. Tuck the guns away. I don't really need two key cards, but you know. Okay, so let's place these breaching charges on. There we go. Look at all of this cash. This is probably more than a million dollars in cash. But, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly bag all of this cash. Um, because this is quite slow and boring. So I'll go bag this cash and put it in the lobby. Okay guys, we've bagged the cash, now it's time to put it in the van. So what we're going to do is we're going to run out of this room. You are considered trespassing when you go into the vault, so make sure no one can see you. And we're going to go out this door. And... Put it in the van. Now, I forgot what perk it is, but I think engineers can open this door, and that leads straight to the vault. And um, Rubble Roulette can do that, so that's another reason why I want to do a collab with them. So Rubble Roulette, buddy, if, you, if you're watching this, dude, we, sh we should do a collab, bro. We've done many collabs before, we just haven't posted them. Dude, we've done many collabs before, we haven't posted them yet, because they're still in editing. But dude, we should we should do a collab. We should, we should do a collab, bro. Yo, check this guy out. He's dripped out. He's all dripped out. Okay, guys, this is the final bag. After the... How many minutes was that? I have to re-watch that video. But, um, I have to replay the video to find that out. But, after the several minutes, we finally got the final bag. 
And boom, we are done. That's all of them. Get out of there. Okay, let's go. Wow, that's a lot of money. That's like two million dollars in cash. But we only got two thousand dollars on our contract? Are you kidding me? And there's no bonus? We, we did get a bonus card and we got a little bit of X XP. But there's no bonus? Okay. Okay guys, thanks for watching on how to rob Ryan Ross part 2. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this series, hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching this series, it's, it, it was a fun series to do. And now I'm just thinking of other videos to do, but I'll get there. So, if you want, and, and buy the E-Dizzle shirt, it's only 5 Robux, only 5 Robux. And if you want me to do a face reveal by the 5th of November, hit the subscribe button. Okay guys, see you later. Bye.